I'm going to show you a tip on why you should never put a regular comic just into a top loader. Stay tuned and find out why. Hello everybody, this is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics and today I'm going to do another tip video uh, explaining why you should never just put a regular comic into just a top loader. And this video is dedicated to one of my subscribers, Don D'Souza, because he was talking about this, about top loaders. And I want to explain this. Now, I rarely ever use top loaders. Number one, they're expensive. Number two, these are made of plastic, and these are very thick around the edges. So if for some reason, somehow, it ends up cracking, and this can happen, I've seen it, because people can overstuff their comic book boxes, or you could lift them up and angle them or something while you're moving them. If these crack, now all of a sudden you have a very sharp piece of plastic that could pierce your comic or at the very least scratch it. So that's a rare thing, but you don't want to have that one time where it happens. And um, I want to explain to you why you never just want to put a regular comic into a top loader. Now, obviously, for security-wise, this is going to be a little bit more stable than a bag and board, but see, I'm going to show you something. It's not as stable as you think. See how it moves around? Now, as you could see with a top loader, look how easily it slides. Now, that's not the issue. If you see, they call it a top loader for a reason, because there is no ceiling of the top. Now, the reason you put comics in a bag and board is to protect it from the elements. Now, if you have a just the top loader, well, now you're exposing the comic to all different elements. So if there's moisture, if there's mold in the air, if there's dust, which we know there is, even if you have an air purifier, you're not going to get every single bit of dust. Even bugs can just crawl in there and start eating your comic. So this is not a beneficial way to have your comics be protected. If you want to use a top loader, and, you know, it's, it's all based on personal preference, you take a book that's already, as you could see, in a bag and board, you slide it in, and what I also still like to do is take a backing board and place it behind it to give it more stability. So this way, you have extra security, even though, as you can see, it's still wobbling around, so it's not as secure as people think. But this way, you can also have this protected from the elements, because that's the biggest key. Because, remember, comics are made of paper. Paper does not last forever. That's why you see them deteriorate over, sometimes even short periods of time, depending on the elements. If you have a lot of sunlight, if you have a, a lot of fluctuations in temperature, there's a lot of different factors. So, yes, it will benefit you if you spend extra money on things like top loaders and mylars and acid-free bags. But even those things, they will not protect you if you store them improperly. If you have extreme temperatures, in other words, if you put your comics in a basement or an attic where it's freezing in the winter and steaming hot in the summertime, it creates moisture. So all you're doing is, is spending a lot of money on something that will destroy your comic. So the key is knowing how to store them. And that is what my tips are all about. So I have several videos on different tips. Check them out. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe because I do shout-outs at the end of every video. So make sure you watch until the end because I do surprise subscriber shout-outs. You have to be a subscriber. And the more often you comment, the more likely you are to get that shout-out. So if you haven't gotten one and you'd like one please let me know in the comment section because I read every comment, I respond to every comment, and if somebody asks, like they say, ask and you shall receive. So if you appreciate this, thumbs up always help. Hit the share button if you know any comic collector that could benefit from this or any of uh, my other tips. And um, that's it. So thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Yeah, believe it or not, back in the days, I tried to sell this comic for $4. I still have it.